Hi everyone, welcome to week six of English 102. Our main goal this week is to draft the argument essay and I want to give you some tips as you as you go through this week. First things first, set a positive intention. Maybe it's the same intention as last week, maybe it's something new, but make sure you set some kind of goal to try for this week um, that will help you to be a better student and a better person and to just be healthy overall. For the argument essay, I want to talk a little bit about the body paragraph structure because it's a little different than our last essay. If you have downloaded the guide that I placed on the assignment page, you'll see a similar, something very similar to this. And I think that it's excellent in its detail for how to set up all of your paragraphs. But here is um, just sort of the general structure for a body paragraph. The first thing you want to do is make a claim. The claim will happen in the topic sentence, and this will uh, echo your thesis or your argument, but also state, you know, one reason why, but, you know, why the thesis is true. So you're arguing for your thesis, you're, you're giving one reason why in this topic sentence. So that's the first thing that you want to do. You want to make sure you're clear about the goal for the paragraph. The second thing you'll do then is introduce the evidence. Maybe you want to give some context, um, and also you would want to include a signal phrase before you give the evidence, as well as maybe some information about the writer that shows that they are knowledgeable on the topic. The next thing then is present the evidence. This is in the form of summary, paraphrase, or quotation. Don't forget when you're done giving the evidence, make sure you put an in-text citation at the end with the page number followed by a period. If you give the writer's name in the signal phrase, you do not need to include that in the in-text citation. Next, after you've presented the evidence, you will then explain and analyze it. Explain how it connects to the main point of this paragraph, your topic sentence, and then you end by reasserting that claim you made in the beginning of the paragraph. So if you follow this structure, it's sort of like a, an enlarged sandwich, right? Um, if you follow this structure, I think you'll be able to make some pretty sound arguments, at least for your body paragraphs. Use this template as a way to build the, your paragraphs, and then I can give you feedback after you submit your draft. To begin drafting essay two, you want to definitely start with a thesis. If you don't know what you're arguing, it's really hard to move into the writing, so make sure you're really clear about that. The next thing you want to do after you have the thesis is write your topic sentences, and these are reasons that support the thesis. So um, all of your main points will go in the topic sentences. I think it's important to write those first and decide on an order in which to arrange those sentences in your essay before you begin. From there, each topic sentence will turn into a sandwich or a Big Mac by including the information I just went over in the last slide to develop the paragraph out and uh, make your points. Near the end of the essay, you could even do it near the beginning, um, you want to have a paragraph that refutes any opposing viewpoints someone might address. So if you have an essay that doesn't address these opposing viewpoints, then uh, people might not take you too seriously. They might say, well, what about this? You didn't say anything about that. So what you'll do is you'll sort of think about what could people argue against my points You'll, you'll give those claims and then you'll refute them. You'll prove them wrong or prove them not relevant to your overall point. When you look at the template, the outline for this essay, you'll see I left space for that. Uh, so hopefully you were able to find some things and fill that out before this week. Lastly, um, I, I think saving the introduction and the conclusion till the end could be helpful because you'll see all of your body paragraphs sort of growing and you'll see the overall points that you're making. But some of you might want to start with those, and that's okay too. Um, if you like to start with the introduction, or if you like to start your essays with the conclusion, um, and that's sort of your first step, that's fine. Do your process the way that it works best for you. Here are some samples. So my thesis statement is in response to the chapter that asks, can people create their own happiness? And uh, so my thesis answers that. Humans can create their own happiness. So I argue the point here. Here are also some example topic sentences. So this would be sort of going through my paper. I would have one, two, three, four, five body paragraphs 
seven paragraphs total. First, people can increase happiness by spending money purposefully. So here I give one way that people can create their own happiness to, um, to argue my point, uh, to illustrate it. Also notice that I do have these transitional sort of expressions at the beginning of paragraphs to help um, ease the readers through and help them make shifts. So then the next paragraph would be also, letting go of unnecessary things and clutter can create more space for happiness. And I would support that from articles from the chapter. Next, when faced with obstacles, embracing struggle can aid the acquisition of happiness. So here I have another example of, um, I'm going to talk about how embracing struggle and actually doing that can create more happiness. This is my uh, refutation paragraph. Though some may argue that DNA and circumstances have more of an effect on happiness, these contributor contributors are out of people's control. Yet, a person can control certain aspects of happiness. So here I'm going to refute this point that people might say, hey, but what about DNA and circumstances? Um, those can affect it and those are out of people's control. So at that point I'm going to say, yes, those happen, but here is how we can control it. And then my last body paragraph will be my, uh, the point that I want to make, the point that I want to make most importantly. So most importantly, people's perspectives have the ability to increase or decrease happiness. So I want to talk about perspective as my last paragraph, and that's the one that I think sort of drives my point home, which is why I put it at the very end of the body paragraphs. So in addition to these paragraphs, I would have an introduction and a conclusion, but here is just sort of some samples to get you started. The other thing we're focusing on this week is concision. I like um, this cartoon. Let me show you it. Um, more specifically. So I like this cartoon because here's the concise person just saying this one blue thing and here's the person who's very wordy and has a lot of scribbles to say, right? Um, so which one are you when you're writing? We're trying to be more concise and to the point. And the goals are that we have an economy of the language that we're using. Um, so we're using as few words as possible to get our point across and we're not using a lot of extra verbiage in there. Secondly, we're clear. Sometimes when we use a lot of words, our point becomes muddled. So we're, we're trying to be more clear in the points we're making. And lastly, uh, we're using stronger nouns and verbs. Sometimes we can get rid of adjectives and adverbs if our nouns and verbs are stronger. So um, working on cutting out excessive words to make the words that we do have um, kind of hit harder and make a stronger point. All right. so. As we prepare to go into the rest of the week, um, here's what you need to do. Participate in the discussion this week. Submit a rough draft of essay two. Remember, it's a rough draft. It's not the final copy. So just do your best and then hand it over to me for feedback. And lastly, review concision and um, submit the assignment. I have one thought to end with. A goal without a plan is just a wish. And though you might be wishing that everything in this week goes perfect, um, setting some goals for this week and, you know, maybe scheduling sometimes to work on things into your schedule can be helpful. So have a wonderful week, everyone.